Get ready to dive deep into the lives of extraordinary individuals. From Michael Ruffellini's world record hips and Kathy Jung's smallest waist, to a life-saving horror movie role, the world's strongest mom. A girl living in a plastic bucket and many other incredible people. It's a journey through the most astonishing corners of human experience. Here are the 20 strangest women who live among us. Michael Ruffellini Meet Michael Ruffellini, a legendary American plus-size model, BBW fashion consultant, and life coach with a twist. She owns the world's widest hips as recognized by the World Record Academy. Can you imagine hips that measure an astonishing eight feet in circumference? Yet despite her large hips, she boasts a tiny waistline of three feet four inches, giving her a striking hourglass figure. Life is different from Michael, driving a truck, sitting on steel secure chairs, sleeping in a seven foot bed, and turning sideways to fit in the shower are just a few of the adjustments she's made. But she wasn't always this big. At 22, after giving birth to her first child, her body began to transform. From 182 pounds and a size 14, she ballooned to 238 pounds and a size 18. Three more children later, her body continued to change, and she now weighs over 420 pounds and wears a size 30. Curiously, Michael attributes her unique figure to her pregnancies. But why did her hips gain more weight compared to other parts of her body? She can't quite explain, although she admits to consuming around 5,000 calories daily. What do you think? Could pregnancies really cause such a drastic transformation? Or might there be another explanation? Dive into the fascinating world of Michael Ruffellini and explore the mysteries behind the woman with the world's widest hips. Kathy Jung Dive into the mesmerizing world of Kathy June, the Victorian corset enthusiast who clinched the world's Guinness record for the smallest waist. But is that all there is to the corset queen? Born Kathy in 1937, she modified her name to avoid word wrapping. Fascinating, right? Even more so, she met her soulmate Bob at Tufts University, where she studied biology. Bob, a med student, later played a pivotal role in Kathy's tight-lacing journey that kick-started in the early 90s. Fast forward to 1959, Kathy donned in a corseted wedding dress, tied the knot with Bob, and they were blessed with three children, two via cesarean. Curiously, she embarked on her extreme fashion journey only when her kids were much older. Would you believe she started wearing a corset 24-7? In 1999, after a year-long pursuit by Guinness World Records, Kathy finally acquiesced and was officially crowned the woman with the world's tiniest waist. Measuring a staggering 38.1 centimeters or just 15 inches corseted, and 53.34 centimeters or 21 inches without. Standing at 1.72 meters or 5 feet 8 inches, Kathy has always clarified that she never had any ribs removed or followed a particular exercise regimen. Astonishingly, she has no health issues thanks to her husband who ensures her well-being with regular x-rays. Christina Karyagida In the icy corners of South Central Russia, a woman who weighs a shocking 38 pounds or 17 kilograms has been given a macabre proposition by her doctor to play a role in a horror movie. The reasoning? It's part of a desperate attempt to save her life by teaching her to laugh at herself. Christina, 26, is on the brink of death, a result of refusing to eat and subsiding on tiny pieces of apple and banana for years. Astonishingly, she now weighs the same as an average four-year-old child. A campaign led by a former anorexic and reality TV star, Maria Kogno, is underway to get her life-saving treatment before time runs out. Could laughter and a change of mindset be the key to saving a life teetering on the edge? When you're so thin that doctors suggest playing a living corpse, it's a battle against time and mindset. Even when you know you're dying, why is it so hard to eat? Maria Kokno, who knows the struggle all too well, leveraged her 520,000 Instagram followers to rally support for Christina. Together, they managed to raise 1,220 pounds for her treatment in Western Russia. With the clock ticking and a year to live, can Christina defy the odds and recover from this deadly affliction? What are your thoughts on this unconventional approach to treatment? Leave a comment below and let's have a conversation. Alicia Young Join us on a captivating journey as we unravel the story of Alicia Young, a woman who challenged conventions, inspired millions, and redefined the meaning of strength. 
A tale of determination, resilience, and the will to succeed against all odds. This is a story you don't want to miss. This is Alicia Young, the bodybuilder who defied all odds to become a top professional and the world's strongest mom. Born in a family of athletes in 1984, Alicia was destined for greatness from playing soccer, basketball, and softball to embracing bodybuilding at 15. Her journey is nothing short of fascinating. Winning the MPC USA Championships in 2014 was just the beginning. Despite a rocky start in her pro career, Alicia climbed the ranks, finally tasting victory at the Chicago Pro Championships in 2019. And in 2020, she secured fourth place at the WOS Rising Phoenix. But then she vanished from the scene due to health issues. What drove the Salt Lake City native to transform from a multi-sport athlete to a bodybuilding sensation? How did she manage to balance motherhood in a demanding profession? And most importantly, what led her to take a break at the peak of her career? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Rama Haruna Have you ever heard the incredible story of Ramha Haruna, a teenager from Nigeria who lives her life in a plastic bucket due to her arms and legs ceasing to grow? Despite the baffling condition that stumped doctors and the exhaustive efforts of her family to find a cure, Rama maintains a positive outlook on life and dreams of starting her own business. Isn't that inspiring? Rama's journey began normally enough in the village of Landia Makole, but by the time she was an infant, it was clear something was very wrong. From six months when she learned how to sit, that was when it began, her mother, Fadi, recalled. A simple fever progressed to stomach pains and then, inexplicably, she never learned to crawl. Her family spared no expense in trying to diagnose and treat her condition, leaving her father to lament. I sold almost everything in my possession. Only God knows the real amount of what I had spent. Despite their efforts, Rama's condition remained a mystery, but she didn't let that get her down. I thank God in everything I do, she shared. I want to start a business, a grocery store, and anything people buy. That is what I want. With the help of her younger brother, Fahad, and other family members, Rama gets through each day with a smile. They help her with everything from eating and bathing to visiting relatives and even gossiping. After a freelance photographer shared her story, strangers from around the world were moved to help and she received a multitude of gifts, including a wheelchair. Jayoti Kishanji Amaje Ever wonder what it's like to be a world record holder? As Jayoti Amaje, the world's shortest living woman, recently turned 22, we dive deep into the intriguing life of this remarkable individual. Standing at just 2 feet 0.6 inches and weighing a mere 12 pounds, Jayoti's diminutive size hasn't stopped her from dreaming big. Despite her rare bone degenerative disorder, called achondroplasia, she's big plans for a career in Bollywood and has even dipped her toes into the world of public service and international television. Born in Nagpur, India, Jayoti's life has been anything but ordinary. From having custom-made daily necessities to co-hosting an Italian TV show, and acting in American Horror Story Freak Show, she's defied all odds. Who do you think her favorite Bollywood actors are? And what do you think it might have been like to portray a character in a freak attraction show in the US? What do you find most captivating about Jayoti's story? Leave a comment below. Joe Cameron Imagine a life where you feel virtually no pain, no anxiety, and no fear. Sounds like a superpower, right? Meet Joe Cameron, a 75-year-old woman living near Loch Ness who has a rare genetic mutation that enables her to live a life free from pain. She only realizes her skin is burning when she smells singed flesh. Shocking, isn't it? Researchers at University College London or UCL have delved deep into the molecular level to understand how this mutation in the FAAHOUT gene works. Not only does it seem to allow rapid wound healing, but it also has implications on mood. Professor James Cox of UCL Medicine says, This opens up possibilities for drug discovery that could one day have far-reaching positive impacts for patients. Could this be the key to developing new treatments for pain, wound healing, depression, and more? Joe's journey of discovery started after an operation when she informed doctors she did not need painkillers. This led to a pain geneticist at UCL and Oxford University who found the mutations that make her so unique. Dr. Andre Okorokov described the FAAHOUT gene as one small corner of a vast continent, which this study has begun to map. What other mysteries could this continent hold? 
And how could these findings transform our understanding of pain, healing, and mental well-being? Maria Cristerna Meet Maria Cristerna, the enigmatic vampire lady from Guadalajara, Mexico. Once a lawyer, she now travels the globe as a video jockey and a beacon of strength for women who've endured domestic abuse. Raised in a devout household, she chose a path less traveled, transforming herself with tattoos, fanged teeth, and titanium horns. But why? Walking past Maria once struck fear into the hearts of her neighbors, who crossed the street to avoid her devilish appearance. Today, however, they seek her blessings as if she were a goddess with mystical powers. What changed? Despite her fearsome exterior, Maria is a survivor and an inspiration. A mother of four, she gives talks on domestic violence and spins records with her DJ partner. From being shunned to being celebrated, Maria's journey is a testament to human resilience and the power of transformation. Ever been judged by your appearance? Maria knows the feeling, but as she says, I am a product of my experiences. I have always been different. We all have the power to change the world, if that is what we choose to do. Are appearances deceiving? Can you really change your world? What do you think? Andrea Ivanova Let's dive deep into the intriguing journey of Andrea Ivanova, a 25-year-old from Sofia, Bulgaria, on a quest for extreme beauty transformation. Andrea, who splurged 8,000 pounds to achieve the world's biggest lips, is now eyeing another title, the world's biggest cheekbones. Her journey, which began in 2018 with a desire to resemble a Bratz doll, has involved numerous surgeries including jaw and chin fillers and recently cheekbone fillers. What drives a former philosophy student to auction kisses for cash on Instagram or defy medical warnings of potentially fatal consequences? Andrea, who already received over 34 lip injections, had been warned by several clinics and doctors about the health complications of further enlargements. Yet she remains undeterred. My lips are still not big enough, she asserts, determined to continue with more injections in both her lips and cheekbones. While Andrea finds contentment in her new appearance, her family and a segment of the online community express disapproval. Nevertheless, she stands firm in her convictions. Each person should satisfy themselves without fearing or worrying about the opinion of others because the meaning of life is to be happy, she opines. So what's next for Andrea? More lip and cheek augmentation procedures are on the horizon despite the risks and controversies. Andrea's story prompts us to reflect on the lengths we are willing to go to satisfy our own definitions of beauty. What are your thoughts on extreme body transformations? Share your opinions in the comments below. Abby and Brittany Hensel Meet Abby and Brittany Hensel, the extraordinary dicephalic parapagus twins, a medical phenomenon that translates to having two heads on one body. Can you imagine the level of coordination it requires to carry out day-to-day -day tasks? Each twin controls one arm and one leg, and yet they can drive, play, the piano, and even participate in sports. How incredible is that? Although they share the same body, they are two distinct individuals, each having their own heart, stomach, spine, and lungs. The twins have been in the spotlight multiple times, from appearing on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 1996 to starring in their own reality show, Abby and Brittany, in 2012. Today, they lead a relatively low-key life as elementary school teachers, teaching 4th and 5th grade kids with a focus on math since 2013. While they hold separate teaching licenses and have separate degrees, they were initially paid as one person because they were doing the job of one person. However, they argue that they can offer two different perspectives and teach in two different ways. One can teach while the other monitors and answers questions. Isn't that fascinating? Although conjoined, Abby and Brittany have their own different styles and see themselves as totally different people. It's a life of compromise, coordination, and cooperation. Could you imagine having to negotiate every decision in your life with someone else? And now it's time for our open discussion. Picture this, a photograph that depicts a pair of conjoined twins dressed impeccably in a police officer's uniform. Their smiles are warm and inviting, yet their eyes hold a mystery that seems almost otherworldly. Their uniform is crisp and perfectly tailored to fit their unique form, showcasing their resilience and determination. 
There's dance exudes confidence, yet you can't help but wonder about the challenges they faced and the stories they could share. Now switch your gaze to another photo, a woman who has undergone extreme surgery for breast augmentation. Her posture is one of pride and satisfaction, as if she has just conquered a mountain. Together, these photos invite us to reflect on the strength and resilience of the human spirit. They challenge our perceptions of normality and beauty, and prompt us to question the boundaries we set for ourselves and others. So here's a question for you. In a world where the norm is constantly being redefined, how do we strike a balance between self-acceptance and the desire for self-improvement? Leave a comment below with the hashtag open discussion. Karine D'Souza Imagine having skin so sensitive to sunlight that you need to lather on SPF 100 every two hours, even when you're indoors with the curtains drawn. This is the reality for Karine D'Souza, a 29-year-old from Brazil who was diagnosed with xeroderma pigmentosum at the tender age of three. This rare condition not only causes extreme skin sensitivity, but also melanoma due to a deficiency in the DNA system that repairs damage caused by UV rays. Despite her condition and the fact that she has undergone 130 surgical procedures, including the removal of her lower lip and part of her nose, Kareen maintains a positive outlook on life. Life only happens once, she says, choosing to smile instead of cry and encouraging others to adopt her upbeat attitude. But life hasn't always been easy for Kareen. Going outside often results in people looking at her in disgust and calling her names. Yet amidst all the adversity, she found love with her husband, Edmilson, whom she met on social media. Edmilson says he fell in love with her story and strength. What does it take to remain positive despite facing such enormous challenges every day? How does Karine's story inspire you to adopt a more positive outlook in life? Karina Rodini In a world where our physical form is often the key to our self-confidence, imagine having your body betray you in the most incomprehensible way. Karina Rodini, a 28-year-old from Brazil, knows this all too well. Diagnosed at the age of two with neurofibromatosis, a genetic disease that causes non-cancerous tumors to grow along the nerves, Karina's life took a harrowing turn. Over the years, these benign tumors swallowed her legs, doubling the size and leaving her crippled. A condition affecting only 1 in 4,000 people globally, neurofibromatosis stole Karina's career, her chance at love, and even forced her mother, Fatima, to quit her job to care for her full time. Treatment involves regular monitoring and addressing problems as they occur, but there's no cure. Karina's story is one of resilience in the face of adversity. Now, here's a thought. Our genes are like a set of instructions that dictate our physical traits. But what happens when one of those instructions is faulty? In Karina's case, it led to uncontrolled growth or tumors. But here's the thing, only one parent needs to have the faulty gene for their child to be at risk. How does that make you feel about the genetic lottery? And what would you do if you were in Karina's shoes? Who, despite everything, endures multiple surgeries to remove excess tissue and fights every day for a semblance of normality? Chiara Step into the world of Chiara, a young woman who has embraced body modification as a deeply personal passion. By the age of 18, she has undergone a staggering number of transformations. Six subcutaneous implants, 12 scarifications, two brandings, tattooed eyes, and countless piercings and tattoos. While most may believe she seeks attention with her unique look, Chiara insists it's a personal necessity. Her mother, though supportive, can't help but worry about the judgment and health risks her daughter may face. And she's not alone in her concerns. Infections are a constant fear. Meanwhile, Chiara and her boyfriend Michelle, who she met through a piercing mishap, face their own set of challenges. From curious stares to covert photos, they experience it all. Now they're embarking on their next adventure, stretching Chiara's labia minora and implanting the labia majora. Intrigued? You should be. Can modifying one's body be seen as a necessity rather than just an attention-seeking act? What drives someone to alter their appearance in such an extreme way? Annie Hawkins Imagine having breasts, each weighing more than a four-year-old child. Sounds unbelievable, right? Meet Annie Hawkins Turner, aka Norma Stitz, the woman with the world's largest natural breasts. This Georgia native has lived a life like no other, from wearing a bra at 10 to being ruthlessly bullied for her ever-expanding chest. Her life took a different turn when she realized she couldn't sit at the same desk as her classmates, a rare condition. 
gigantomastia causes her breast to keep growing, and yes, there are health implications. The combined weight of her breasts is nearly 85 pounds. Can you imagine the strain on her shoulders and back? Yet despite the challenges, Annie refuses to consider breast reduction. Why fix something that's not broken, she says. Instead, she turned her unique assets into a lucrative career, starring in over 250 adult videos as a fantasy model. Quick to clarify, she points out. No hardcore, of course. Annie has become an international celebrity, even requiring security due to being chased by fans. Her story is a roller coaster of emotions, challenges, and triumphs. What do you think of Annie's decision to embrace her condition and turn it into a career? Let us know in the comments below. Valeria Lukanyova Prepare to be transported into a world more surreal and twisted than any photograph could capture. Once upon a digital age, the internet was flooded with images of a girl, impossibly blonde and impossibly shaped. Was this a masterful stroke of Photoshop, or could it be real? Meet Valeria, aka Eastern Block Barbie, or as she prefers, Amatue. Her journey to an uncanny resemblance to the iconic doll involves more than just makeup and diet. But does Valeria, with her Margaret Keen eyes and plasticky skin, really exist in flesh and blood? Or is she just a figment of our pixelated imagination? Our story unfolds in a brightly lit Ukrainian restaurant, where the anticipation of meeting Valeria is tinged with both excitement and dread. There amidst the kitschy decor sits Valeria, a living, breathing enigma. Her quest for perfection, as bizarre as it may seem, appears to be realized. But at what cost? From a rebellious teenager in Moldova to a human doll with a following of apostles, Valeria's transformation is as fascinating as it is unsettling. As the layers of her story are peeled back, questions arise. What drives someone to reshape their entire existence in the image of a doll? Is there more to Valeria than meets the eye? Dive into this captivating tale of transformation, identity, and the blurred lines between reality and illusion. Could you too be lured by the siren call of perfection? Christina Ray Picture this, a beauty addict who has already spent a whopping 4,000 pounds on plumping injections in a quest to possess the world's most voluptuous lips. Yet despite her efforts, she insists her pout is still too small. Meet Christina Ray, a 22-year-old nail technician from St. Petersburg, Russia, who was convinced her thin lips made her look less than stunning and dreamt of emulating the luscious lips of cartoon siren Jessica Rabbit. After 100 silicone injections, each costing 40 pounds, she's still craving more. I think I look fantastic and it makes me happy, Christina says confidently. Inspired by her older sister Ira's full lips and the iconic Jessica Rabbit's oversized pout, she confesses to being hooked on the extremely painful plumpers. Can you imagine undergoing 100 injections and still wanting more? Is there a limit to the pursuit of perfection? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Mandy Sellers Imagine having legs almost 2 meters wide, making skirts and dresses off limits, and custom-made trousers a necessity. Sounds tough, right? Meet Mandy from Accrington, Lancashire, a remarkable woman born with a rare form of Proteus Syndrome. The same condition believed to have affected the elephant man, Joseph Merrick. With only 10 other people worldwide sharing her condition, Mandy has faced stares, sniggers, and rude comments all her life. Yet she remains determined and proud, hoping to inspire confidence in others. A turning point came when Dr. Robert Semple and his team at Addenbrooke's Hospital in Cambridge isolated the gene causing Mandy's condition and developed medication to halt its growth. Since starting the medication, Mandy's legs have shrunk by a stone and a half. Incredible, right? Despite her challenges, Mandy leads a full and mostly independent life, confined to a wheelchair but fully capable of looking after herself. Friends, family, and a zest for life keep her spirits high. She even jokes about hitching a ride on Simon Cowell's private jet. Mandy's story raises an important question. How can we turn our challenges into opportunities to inspire others? Her journey also brings hope to those affected by similar conditions, as medical advancements inch closer to finding a cure. Ultimately, Mandy just wants to be happy and healthy, don't we all? Padaung Women Ever heard of the Padaung women from the Kayan tribe, a tibeto burman ethnic minority in Thailand? They are often referred to as giraffe women due to their tradition of wearing long neck rings formed by brass coils. This curious tradition has drawn tourists from all over the world to the region, with everyone wanting a glimpse of this exotic culture. 
But did you know that the reasons behind this practice remain a mystery? Some anthropologists believe it's to deter them being taken advantage of by making the women less attractive, while others argue it's to enhance female beauty by accentuating female dimorphism. Another theory suggests that it's to avoid tiger bites, either literally or metaphorically because of symbology. Despite the intrigue, these neck rings are causing severe health issues for the women, weakening their muscles, harming their clavicles, jaws, and pushing down their ribs. And yet the Thai government, under pressure from the UN and media, promised to encourage the abundance of this tradition, but haven't delivered on their promise. Some argue that this is because the women and their families are significant tourist attractions, contributing to the country's tourism economy. Caught in a web of political conflicts, human rights violations, and tourism demands, the Padaung women are trapped in a human zoo. What role does tourism play in perpetuating this situation? Are awareness campaigns and active involvement from the Burmese and Thai governments the way forward? And most importantly, are the tourists unknowingly promoting this situation? Charity Pierce Charity Pierce, the standout from TLC's My 600 Pound Life Season 3, has faced trials that would break the strongest among us. She entered the show as one of the heaviest individuals ever featured, and that was just the tip of the iceberg. Flesh-eating bacteria, infidelity, and the loss of her mother all compounded her struggle, not to mention watching her daughter battle obesity as well. Enter Dr. Now, who offered not just hope but tangible results. By the close of her episode, Charity had shed nearly 300 pounds, and a follow-up special revealed her total weight loss to be over 500 pounds. Social media shows she's happier and healthier, but life is still a roller coaster. In late 2019, she was diagnosed with kidney cancer, leading to an emergency kidney removal in March 2020. After that, she went radio silent, with only her daughter giving a cryptic update about her mom, a way to better herself and doing great now. What has Charity been up to since then? Has she managed to keep the weight off and stay on track despite the hurdles? And what does doing great now actually mean? Well, it seems she's been keeping up with Dr. Now's regimen. Her journey continues to be a mixed bag of triumphs and challenges, as seen on her Facebook profile. Only time will tell if she returns to social media to share more about her ongoing journey. Ayana Williams Imagine not being able to open a door, wash the dishes, or put sheets on your bed for nearly 30 years. Sounds like a wild dream, right? For Ayana Williams of Houston, Texas, it was her reality. She held the Guinness World Record for the world's longest fingernails by a woman, which measured a staggering 24 feet 0.7 inches before she made the monumental decision to cut them. Can you imagine the nail polish required for a manicure? More than two bottles in a whopping 20 hours. And that was back in 2017 when her nails were only 19 feet long. Now, Ayana has bravely bid farewell to her incredible nails at a dermatology office in Fort Worth, where an electric rotary tool was required to complete the task. Her first nail cut since the early 1990s. With or without my nails, I will still be the queen, she declared. My nails don't make me, I make my nails. Her new mission? To inspire the next nail enthusiast to chase a Guinness World Record title. Although she broke the record for the longest nails grown by a woman, the record for the longest nails ever on a pair of female hands belongs to Lee Redmond, whose nails reached a length of 28 feet before a tragic automobile accident in 2009. Do you think you could handle the challenges of growing record-breaking nails? Share your thoughts in the comments below.